So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to your third tutorial for Ionic Framework in which we're going to take a look at how you can set up Ionic on Windows. So if you take a look in the documentation, you can see that it says us to install Ionic with the NPM. And if you do not know what NPM is, it's just a package manager which comes bundled with Node. So you can go to nodejs.org and download the latest table release and uh, it would be kind of just in clicking next next process so you should be up and running with it in no time so once you do that what you're gonna do is uh, go to any directory and open command line window there by holding shift and right clicking on that and you should be able to write npm right there and uh, get some results like this so if you get something like this that means npm is correctly set up on your computer so once you do that what you want to do is install ionic so to do that again just write npm install g cordova and ionic so what it does is that it installs ionic and cordova globally on your computer so that you do not need to install it again and again for individual projects and by the way Cordova is just something on which Ionic is built on so it's basically Cordova which actually packages your application for the mobile devices and Ionic provides a wrapper for the UI and all that functionality so it might take a little bit time depending upon your connection speed and uh, uh, all that stuff so just wait for it and uh, yeah so you can see that it's installed already installed on my computer so um, for you it might be a little bit different the message might be a little bit different so once you do that to verify you can say ionic we and you should get three point something depending upon your release your time of watching this video so once you do that what you can do is actually start a new ionic project by saying ionic start and the project name let's just say first app and then the boilerplate template you want i'm gonna go with blank so that we do not get any sort of uh, functionality attached to it already so you can see that it's creating our project and it's downloading some files for us first and uh, let it run so once it's done you should see a message something like this and i'm just not gonna link it to the dashboard right now okay so now what we can do is go to our app and right here we can say ionic serve this would start a local development server on your computer itself so that you can see life changes while creating your application in ionic so it would just start it and meanwhile you can just go back to the project and open another command window and write subl dot to open your project inside sublime text and you can see that our application is started and this is precisely what the application looks like inside source folder index.html is what is being served to us right now and then from here onwards angular is taking over control so yeah that's all pretty much how you would set up ionic on windows so if you like this tutorial then please don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one